So, Dr. Scott, you're an author of the book called Definitely LinkedIn Resource, Your Complete Guide to Succeeding with LinkedIn, helping you develop a top five profile, assisting you to achieve your goals. So, we know that LinkedIn is a go-to place these days. We know that LinkedIn is your networking place, as we talked about in the previous video. But still, there are some students or even uh, people are changing job. They don't know how to use LinkedIn. We know that we need to have full profile from headliner, banner, about section experience. But is there any other tips that you think or what should be included in the about section or what should be included in the headliner? All right. You, uh, in, in the States, we have radio stations mm -hmm. that start with W or K. K is west of the Mississippi. W is east of the Mississippi. Mm -hmm. uh, there's something called WIFM. Uh, I used to say it's not a radio station, but I actually found out it is a radio station. Okay. <laughs> but the reality is WIFM to what I use it for is what's in it for me. Yeah. And that needs to be the perspective. What's in it for the employer? What's in it for the reader? Yeah. You have the same five to seven seconds you have on a resume to impress on a LinkedIn profile. Yes. So let's start with a picture that's not your arm around a significant other yeah. uh, in a T-shirt. Okay. Unless yeah. you're a Harley mechanic and then you can have a Harley T-shirt and it's okay. Yeah. But what's your what's your why? What's your goal? Then you want that banner. You got that big piece of real estate. Yes. You. you don't want the default. You want something that says something about you. Mm -hmm. that maybe a conversation starter. Because as an interviewer, I'm always looking for something to talk about. I don't want to talk about your grades. I, I don't want to talk about you know meals. I don't want to talk about other abstain you know obtuse things. I want to find out who you are. Yeah. So you, you were traveling in Spain. Great. What was the experience like? Uh, you look. You you speak another language. When have you used it? Uh, whatever experience it has been, whatever activities or opportunities there are, that's what you want to showcase. Yeah. When you get to the headline, the headline is not the current job position you have. No. It's got to be what you aspire to, because that's what's going to get searched. And by the yeah. the headline has three to five times the value of the about section. Yeah. The employment section. About section. First person. You. I mean, you need you know all the basics. Of yeah. How to how to present. But again, the keywords, what's in it for the employer, and include contact information. Uh -huh. There's a, there's a new features always coming. There's a website link, but you yes. get a calendar link. Yes. I have a calendar link on my my front end. So if somebody clicks it, they set a time. Uh, put your email address. Put videos. Put any other tools that you want people to see, and not in big paragraph forms, which yeah. are hard to read, but bullets that are going to catch the eyes. That's think of someone to have someone a third party review it have someone else look at it and say what jumps out at you oh that thing really i thought this would because i that's what i'm trying to put here i'm trying to say that yeah now we go one step further the networking aspects mm -hmm. once you once you've got your profile to a degree and it's, it's going to change every day it's going to yeah. be enhanced you're going to get referrals you're going to get recommendations you want to go through and there's there i mean there's a whole science to it but you also want to do outreach you want yeah. to find others who are maybe alums of your institution, mm -hmm. what you were doing. Because I've never heard an alumnus say, oh, I, I'm sorry, you're graduating from the school I went to? I don't want to talk to you. That, 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 that doesn't happen. It's all right. And But you're not asking for them a job. No. Finding them. But LinkedIn, the alumni feature built in is super powerful. All right. You can yeah. go in and find out geographically where someone is, where they're working, what their job titles are. Mm -hmm. And you have pictures of them as well. And then you can do that introduction that, and it, it, you always personalize invites. Yes. Always go out, but you can also say, hey, I love what you're doing. I, I see how you've grown from A to B. Uh, I'm currently a student and considering a similar career path. So you have 15 minutes to chat. Yeah. yeah. If you can get to that point, and I've had, it's called the informational review. Correct. And students actually do outreach after one, one student within two hours of, of recommending it did that. Mm -hmm. A 15 minute appointment set that lasted for over an hour. It turned into, by the way, you know, you'd be perfect for this internship opportunity that we haven't posted yet. Wow. You're not asking for a job. You're not no. offering a resume, no. but you are asking for a conversation and you yeah. want them to do most of the talking. All right. You're going to proceed it with questions. And then people love to talk about themselves. For sure. Yeah. And yet they're going to feel good about that, that they helped you and they helped their alma mater because. Mm -hmm. If you succeed, that makes it's better for the institution, and often they get referral fees. They get a five hundred to three thousand dollars. Yes, than a headhunter. 
Yeah. Like, it's pretty powerful. Those are great tips, Dr. Scott. Thank you very much. And with that, my interview with you comes to an end. Again, I appreciate all those practical tips. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, leave them below. And tune in next time for other great question, uh, great uh, guest I'm preparing for you guys. Have a great afternoon. Bye, everyone. Be well. Thank you. Thank you.